Today we're going to try foot juggling. And foot juggling is a circus skill that comes from China where they've been doing this for a long time. And when you watch the experts do some foot juggling, you'll see them use maybe a big drum or a giant bowl or an umbrella or maybe even a person and they spin that drum or bowl or umbrella and balance it. And if it's a person, they'll use their feet to help push the person to do flips. So this is a type of circus skill we use our feet for. So we're gonna be lying on our backs with our feet up, ready to juggle. Um, I'm gonna use a pillow for this exercise because it's got a nice flat surface for my feet to go on and it's soft and light. So if it falls down, I'm gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna take my pillow I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to put my feet under my pillow. I'm going to let it find my balance and then I'm going to put my hands on the ground and straighten my legs. And I just want to let it balance there for a minute so I can get used to how that feels with my straight legs and my hands on the floor. And once that feels good and you can really hold it there, we're going to try to bend our knees. So I'm going to bend my knees and I'm gonna straighten. And if you notice, my knees have to come towards my tummy. Otherwise, the pillow's gonna fall off the back. So I have to bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten my legs. Good. Now, I wanna try to balance my pillow on one foot. So I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna start with my striped foot here. I'm going to walk my striped foot to the middle and my polka dotted foot's going to help a little bit. It's going to help the pillow find my striped foot. And then once I'm balanced right in the middle, I'm going to take my polka dot foot away. And I'm going to right back right next to the striped foot. And now I'm going to let the polka dot foot have a turn so the striped foot's going to help find the middle and see if I and balance it on my polka dot foot. Good, and then I bring that striped foot right back in and try that one more time. I'm gonna try my striped foot first. Goes right to the middle. And again, my polka dot foot can be a helper. Find the middle, take my polka dot foot away. Good job, and then bring that polka, polka dot foot right back to the middle. It's its turn to bounce. My striped foot's going to be the helper now. Boop! Try that again. So my striped foot's going to be my helper. My polka dot foot's going to come right to the middle. And see if I can balance on the polka dot foot. Really good. Now I've got my pillow back on two feet. We're going to try one more thing. So, so far we've tried our bend and straighten. We've tried balancing on one foot. Let's get that balance. Go nice and slow. For our last trick today, we are going to um, try to catch a pillow. So, I've got it on my feet. My feet are straight. And I want you to bend a little bit, hands ready, and you're going to straighten and catch your pillow. Try again. So it's important that when you um, kick, sorry, that so when you straighten your legs to give it a push, that it comes a little bit forward. Because if I push back, I can't catch. So pillow's on my feet. My hands are ready. I'm going to bend a little bit and give a little pop and catch my pillow. Let's try it again. On your feet, balance it, bend a little bit, and pop, catch your pillow. We're gonna try one more time. On your feet, start with them straight, hands ready, bend a little, pop, and catch your pillow. That was great. Now, I wanna see what else can we balance on our feet? You wanna find something that's 
light so that if it falls, you're going to be safe. Uh, you also want to find something that's not going to break because if it falls, you don't want it to break. So I'm going to try, I have this little basket and it's pretty light. So I know I'll be safe, but it's not going to break or fall apart if I drop it. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going to try my basket on my feet. So I get ready. Just like with my pillow, I bend my feet, bring them underneath, and balance on my feet. Awesome. Let's see if I can do one foot with my basket. There it is. And I'm going to bring my foot back in. And now I got to get ready to catch my basket so my hands come up, bend my knees, and give it a little pop. Excellent. I'm going to try one more thing. You might have this around your house. I'm going to try my yoga mat. And it might be tricky because it might become unrolled a little bit, but I want to try it anyway. So I'm going to take my yoga mat, bend those feet, put them underneath, and see if I can balance my yoga mat. Now, I want to try to balance my yoga mat on one foot too, but this might be tricky because I need to get it to the middle of the yoga mat. And the whole thing about yoga mats is they like to stick, so it's hard to slide my foot. All right, let's see if I can balance my yoga mat on one foot. Good, I'm going to bring my foot right back in to help. Good job. And just like before, hands ready, bend my knees, and catch. So that's our skill for today, our Chinese-inspired foot juggling. Remember to stay safe, find what you can around your house to give it a try with, and we're going to try our balancing on two feet, our bending our knees, our balancing on one foot, and catching our object. Please don't forget to hit subscribe, ring that bell, that way you'll know when more videos come out. If you had fun today, please like this video, and we'll be back soon with more. Thanks for joining us. Bye.